the Royal Armory, Skoklosta Castle and the Halvel Museum constitute a museum agency in Sweden. We tell the stories of the high society and the upper classes from the 17th century to today. Two other museums are house museums with hundreds of rooms and the collection within the museum. We have great collections of fine art, rare books, dresses, weapons, jewelry and armories. My name is Karin Nilsson and I'm head of the Department of Digital Resources. We do have a lot of visitors to the museums, but we also know that most people in the world will never make it to the museums in Stockholm. So how can we reach the world with all the stories we have in the collection? Our goal is to digitize the entire collection quickly, within 10 years, with a very small funding. It means that we photograph as many objects as once as we can, like a hundred rifles in one day. But at the same time we produce images of the highest quality we're able to, because otherwise no one will use it. We make everything accessible online as soon as possible, on our website, on Google Art, in digital exhibitions, on Europeana. If you like to use some of the objects yourself, you may 3D print, for example, this shield that used to belong to a former Swedish king in the 16th century. On this model, you're able to see details you will never be able to see in the space of the museum. The digital object can actually be more real than reality. Everything we do, we do for the benefit of society. All the data we have in our systems, all of the images in the collection are licensed with open licenses and everyone can use them free of charge. The result is increased possibilities for the use and reuse of our material. For example, for children preparing schoolwork, for innovators building applications, or for researchers who can study objects closely through high-resolution images. All of the images are also available on Wikimedia Commons in the highest quality possible. We do big exports of data from the collection management system, so the images can be not only accessible, but truly useful. Just in a few months, over 3 million people use the images and thousands of articles on Wikipedia in a lot of different languages use images from our collection. We want to keep our digital collection open, like when we restore paintings and we show what the painting really looked like beneath the surface. This is a preservation of a famous painting called The Librarian by Archambaldo. It is located at Skokloster Castle. On these pictures, you can experience what the painting looked like before, during and after the preservation. And it is an example of a process you can only get this close to in a digital world. The result is now displayed in a digital exhibition where people all over the world can be amazed at the details. When digitization in the museums is well performed, it's more real than reality itself. In the space of the physical museums, small rings are barely visible. Fragile books and paintings can't be browsed or displayed, but we still have to make these collections available to the public. In recent years, we have made the digitization of the collections more efficient, but we have also improved the quality of the digitization. We hope that people around the world will benefit from our work. <laughs>